welcome all my crazies. This is my lab, and we've been pretty crazy in our previous episodes. We did do some dangerous stuff, but all of that is nothing in comparison to what we are about to do today. So hold on to whatever you can, because the science train is in full throttle. Have you guys ever heard of manganese heptoxide? Ugh, I'm sure you haven't. I mean, who listens to confusing chemical names in school when there's plenty of juicy gossip to go around? Relax, let me see how I can make this fun for you. So manganese heptoxide is usually made by mixing two common chemicals, sulfuric acid and potassium permanganate. But before we get this parte started, there are a few things you guys should know. Sulfuric acid was given the name King of Acids, aka vitriol. This is a mineral acid which is composed of the elements sulfur, oxygen, and hydrogen. Its molecular formula is H2SO4. Potassium permanganate is an inorganic compound and its chemical formula is KMNO4. This is a salt that is made of K plus and MNO4 minus ions. This is a really good oxidizing agent. So let's see how this whole thing turns out. Take a pipette of concentrated sulfuric acid and put it in a Petri dish. Then, you want to mix in a small amount of potassium permanganate to it. As soon as they are mixed, the sulfuric acid reacts with the potassium permanganate to make permanganic acid. This acid is then dehydrated by the sulfuric acid and it forms the anhydride version. This new molecule is a combination of two permanganic acids. Though a good oxidizer, manganese heptoxide is highly unstable, trust me. So it's always looking for any reason to decompose by either reacting with something or spontaneously by itself. Now that we have it in front of us, let's touch the top layer with a metal rod. Do you see how that green oily thing on the top almost instantly went up in flames? Well, let me show you that in slow motion. That is manganese heptoxide for you. Now, let's burn some more stuff. Repeat the same steps as above to get manganese heptoxide in the Petri dish. Now drop a cotton ball on it and witness cotton candy from hell. Then, to calm it down a bit, pour in a little water to make this solution per manganic acid. Check out that deadly purple color. Okay now, what is the point of burning if there isn't a pop to it? Time to grab the test tubes. Pour a bit of the same solution into a test tube. And yeah, don't hold it if you want to keep your arms and eyes intact. Just put it on a stand like this. Now, from a distance. Pour in a few drops of acetone or methanol and watch it burn and pop like a tiny rave. Woo! This party is on. So, congratulations, you are a certified mad scientist now. Well, that's enough for today. You guys were crazy, you guys were fun, you guys, that was science. See you in the next episode. Bye!